Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. In this week's video, we're making a recipe that'll be great and very easy for a weeknight meal. All you have to do is prepare some vegetables in advance, place everything in a slow cooker, and let your slow cooker do the rest of the work. Today, we're making slow cooker split pea soup. Let's get started. For this recipe, to make your slow cooker split pea soup, you'll of course need split peas, and then I'm also using some ham, carrots, chicken stock, dried parsley, black pepper, some celery, an onion, garlic, bay leaves, and some thyme. Begin by cutting up one cup's worth of diced carrots. Next, chop, and finally dice one whole onion. Slice up one cup's worth of celery. Cut a ham steak into thin strips and cut the strips into small pieces. Enough so you have two cups of diced ham. Add one pound of dried green split peas to a colander and use your fingers to sort through the peas, picking out any rocks or debris. Then thoroughly rinse your split peas under cool, running water. To the slow cooker, add the sorted and rinsed split peas, two cups of diced ham, one cup of chopped celery, one cup of diced carrot, and one whole diced onion. Next, add two teaspoons of minced garlic. one teaspoon of black pepper, two heaping teaspoons of dried parsley, a half teaspoon of dried thyme, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed dried bay leaves. Then pour in 32 ounces or four cups of low sodium chicken stock. Pour in two cups of water. Gently stir the seasonings, ingredients, and liquids together to evenly distribute. Cover the slow cooker with its lid. And turn the slow cooker on low for eight hours. After eight hours, your split pea soup should be bubbling and done cooking. Remove the lid from the pot. and stir the soup together to redistribute all the ingredients. At this point, you will see that the split peas have essentially melted into the soup. Ladle the soup into a small bowl to serve and enjoy. After a long day of cooking, the split pea soup is ready to enjoy. I love slow cooker recipes because all you have to do is put a lot of ingredients in your slow cooker, turn it on, and let the slow cooker do the rest of the work. If you're interested in my recipe for this slow cooker split pea soup, you can click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leahnoelcooking.com. There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.